I got a little tip for you with the, uh, the swinging jigs like this Gambler Wrecking Ball. One of the things I like to do to give it even more action than it already has is when you thread your bait on, don't thread your bait really far up on the shank of the hook. Just poke it just a little bit so it's sticking out just about that much. And when you slide it up on here to rig it weedless, what you get is you still leave that area in there very free. So when you rig it up, there's nothing impeding that, that otter from really swinging around back and forth. The problem that I've noticed a lot of people do is they thread that bait too far up on there and you get it like that and then it's stuck against your head and you're kind of defeating the purpose of the swing head. You know, you might as well be throwing a regular football jig at that point. So if you keep it down low like that and keep your loop and the eye of your hook exposed, it's very free to swing back and forth. You'll get a lot more action and a lot more bites.